Why, hey there. Are you here for a birthday reading? Wow, well, we're, we're here to do a birthday reading for April 27th, the day of self-sufficiency. Here we go. What we got? We got a picture of a snail with a dinghy on its back. If I can pull focus, you can see, but uh, it's there. Trust me. Let's see here. So is it April 27th and it's your birthday? Well, if it is, I just want to wish you a heartfelt happy birthday. I hope it's going to be great. All right, so let's get it kicked off. Let's get started by telling you a little bit about your psychological profile, maybe with a little bit of astrology. We'll see if it uh, rings true to you, all right? All right, your month is April, naturally, day 27. Your sign is 6 to 8 degrees Taurus. Your period is Taurus 1 specifically, and your elemental qualities, fixed earth. All right, April 27th, the day of self-sufficiency. Those born on April 27th can usually be found working behind the scenes. Generally, they do not assume the leading role unless drafted or forced to do so. They are happiest when they can function undisturbed, tucked away in a safe place where they give their all to private endeavors. It is rare to find those born in this day preoccupied with a highly developed social life. It is usually within an institution, e.g. school, work, or church, that they are able to relate best with others. April 27th people can manifest a strong presence in human affairs without being physically present. They have great projective powers. Their thoughts, initial actions, even their image alone may serve to set things around them in motion. In solitary activity, they are never lonely, nor are they jealous of those who have greater popularity in the public eye or in the eyes of their family and friends. They seek to be useful, to get the job done, and have no time for sophisticated criticism or praise. They feel it is they themselves who know best, only too well, whether they have succeeded or failed and have little need for outside evaluation. Those born in this day have a rare capacity to handle their occasional failures well, moving on undaunted to the next project, building on a knowledge culled from previous mistakes. In personal relationships, as well as in family activities, such as raising children, April 27th people function very well as long as others understand their need for privacy and desire to be alone when working. After hours, they can enjoy a quiet evening at home with their spouse and or children as well as anyone. If they are homemakers, their home will be their castle. Most needs and wants can be met in this sphere. They will demand faithfulness and dedication, however, as they are faithful and dedicated themselves. The less highly evolved of this day must beware of becoming withdrawn, sullen, or abusive to others abrasive, rather, to others. Such April 27 people can be blunt to the point of rudeness, finding social outlets such as uh, what they, which they truly enjoy and perhaps soothing down some of the rough, rough edges in their personality. They can begin a much-needed socialization process. If not, they may be dooming themselves to be alone and unhappy. Those born in this day are often quite accomplished in their craft. Moreover, they know their limitations and capabilities, rarely misjudging the latter. They may, however, push themselves too hard, and because of a lack of emotional maturity or suppressed feelings, allow destructive outbursts which can drive others away. Their temper is not easily aroused, but once it is, watch out! The destructive powers of April 27 people are considerable. Those born in the state should seek friends who can help lighten up, uh, help them lighten up, rather. To laugh and be less serious are two important needs. In this respect, they do well with devoted company who are free spirited and playful. All right, let's read some of those born on this day so you know what kind of company you keep. And then we'll move on to numbers, planets, tarot, health, advice, and meditation. Those born on this day. Herbert Spencer, a British philosopher. He conceptualized survival of the fittest. And he uh, wrote the book Social Status. Samuel F.B. Morse, electronic telegraph, a Morse code inventor, and a portrait painter. 
Ulysses S. Grant, the U.S. President and Civil War Union Commander-in-Chief. Coretta Scott King, political activist, singer, and, uh, singer rather, and wife of Martin Luther King. Edward Gibbon, who's a British historian, he wrote The History of the Decline of the Fall of the Roman Empire. Mary Wollstonecraft, or Wollstonecraft, a British 18th, 19th century politician, a political radical, rather, feminist writer of A Vindication of the Right of Women. Um, Roger Hornsby, he was a baseball second baseman, all-time highest career batting average of 358 over 23 years, and he hit over 400 three times, and he was a seven-time national batting champ. Connie Kay, he was a jazz drummer, modern jazz quartet member. Cecil Day-Lewis, an Irish-born British novelist, poet laureate. Earl Anthony, he was a bowler, six-time PBA Bowler of the Year, 41 titles. Norman Bell Geddes, he was a stage designer. Jack Klugman, he was a film and TV actor of Oscar from The Odd Couple and Quincy. Walter Lance, cartoonist of Woody Woodpecker. Chuck Knox, Pittsburgh Steelers football coach and three Super Bowl wins. We got George Gervin, the Iceman basketball forward, four-time NBA scoring leader. Zhang Ji, Chinese novelist, writer of As Long As Nothing Happens. Uh, Sheena Easton, singer, Casey Kasem, Top 40 TV host, Sandy Dennis, stage film actress, and Anouk Amy, film actress. Here are your numbers and planets. Those born on the 27th of the month are ruled by the number 9 as 2 plus 7 equals 9. And by the planet Mars, the number 9 is powerful in its influence on other numbers. Any number added to 9 yields that same number. E.g., 5 plus 9 equals 14, and 4 plus 1 equals 5. Any number multiplied by 9 yields 9. 9 times 5, 45. 4 plus 5 equals 9. And April 27 people are similarly able to influence those around them. The people, or rather, the planet Mars is forceful and posits male energy, but is here muted by the ruling planet of Taurus, which is Venus, which carries that female energy. Thus, April 27 people may have a unique opportunity to integrate their male and female characteristics. All right, moving on to your tarot. The ninth card of the Major Arcana is the Hermit, who walks carrying a lantern and a stick. He represents qualities of meditation, isolation, and silence. The card signifies crystallized wisdom and ultimate discipline. The Hermit is a taskmaster who uses conscience to keep others on their path. The positive side of this card is stick to purpose, profundity, and concentration. The negative meanings include dogmatism, intolerance, mistrust, and discouragement. Here's your health. Those born on the 27th must beware of satirian influences indicated by the tarot hermit card, including depression and difficulties with bones and teeth. The latter may affect April 27th women after pregnancy or menopause. The former may be an adjunct to discouragement in an April 27th man's work. Problems with the ears, hearing, and balance may arise, especially in later life. Above all, those born in this day should try to be happy. All right, Fun is probably the best therapy possible. April 27th people can have a great deal of fun at home, particularly in the kitchen. All right. Although eating out is all right once in a while, the average April 27th person will prefer making the kitchen a cozy and satisfying haven. Both women and men born on this day can be good cooks. They are also serious enough to consider matters of diet in planning their meals. Here's some advice. Try to increase social contact. Beware of isolating yourself. All right? Push yourself to improve spiritually and beware of imposing your values on others. Don't get stuck in a rut. Refuse to be unhappy for long. And here is your meditation. The true church is one's own heart. All right, your strengths, self-sufficient, dedicated, centered. Your weaknesses, withdrawn, over-serious, and repressed. Your season is spring. As we said previously, you are a Taurus. Taurus 1 specifically, and your elemental qualities are fixed earth. And once again, if today's your birthday, and it's April 27th, well, hey, if it's your birthday in general and you're watching this, happy birthday. All right. 
and we'll see you on the next one if you decide to drop in. All right, take care.